Good evening, my fellow Americans. We now stand 10 years past the midpoint of a century that has witnessed four major wars among great nations. Three of these involved our own country. We have been compelled to create a permanent armaments industry of vast proportion. I think the issue is, in order to win a war, should you kill 100,000 people in one night by firebombing or any other way? LeMay's answer would be clearly yes. McNamara, do you mean to say that instead of killing 100,000, burning to death 100,000 Japanese civilians in that one night, we should have burned to death a lesser number or none, and then had our soldiers cross the beaches in Tokyo and been slaughtered in the tens of thousands? Is that what you're proposing? Is that moral? Is that wise? Why was it necessary to drop the nuclear bomb if LeMay was burning up Japan? And he went on from, from Tokyo to firebomb other cities. You're too young to remember a duck and cover. We'd hide under our little wooden desks at school. At some point, they stopped the drills. The threat was still there. They just stopped having the drills. I guess they realized a piece of plywood wasn't going to protect us against an atomic blast. Uh, gentlemen, as most of you now know, U-2 over Cuba Sunday morning took a series of disturbing photographs. Our analysis at NPIC indicates that the Soviet Union has followed up its conventional weapons buildup in Cuba with the introduction of surface-to-surface, medium-range ballistic missiles. Our cities and military installations in the southeast, as far north as Washington, D.C., are in range of these weapons, and in the event of a launch, would have only five minutes of warning. Well, it's clear we cannot permit Soviet nuclear missiles in Cuba. We have to get those missiles out. Good evening, my fellow citizens. I speak to you tonight in a spirit of hope. Eighteen years ago, the event of nuclear weapons changed the course of the world, as well as the war. Since that time, all mankind has been struggling to escape from the darkening prospect of mass destruction on Earth. Yesterday, a shaft of light cut into the darkness. Negotiations were concluded in Moscow on a treaty to ban all nuclear tests in the atmosphere, in outer space, and underwater. For the first time, an agreement has been reached on bringing the forces of nuclear destruction under international control. Imagine all.
Banunu had provided the first hard evidence to show the world Israel also had the bomb.